ladies and gentlemen, Steve Quayle will be joining us next Wednesday at high noon, Central Standard Time, 11 a.m. his time, Mountain. SteveQuayle.com is the website. SteveQuayle.com, we'll give you that spelling here in a moment. We also have a link to it up on InfoWars.com, and he's not pumping it, but he should be. We'll talk about some of his books that he has written specifically on all this. Holdren is proposing chemtrailing to save the Earth's atmosphere. They're already doing it, and that's what's causing the droughts. That's been proven. I've had the father of weather weapons on. The father of weather weapons that AP and Reuters has meant is the father of weather weapons, documenting what they're really doing. I want to go back to your calls, Mark, Andy, Tim, Rich, Mike, and others here in just a moment. Before I do that, speaking of race-specific bioweapon and how they've been caught putting them in vaccines, that is covered in Holdren's own White House science czar battle plan, EcoScience, that we broke here, pushed out into the national news, thanks to you, the listeners, and that now has been covered by CNN, AP, you name it. But they say, oh, maybe it is good to forcibly sterilize and take all kids at birth and raise them in CPS facilities. And the British News yesterday said 20,000 homes to get cameras to watch their kids with CPS. I mean, this is 1984. They really are announcing troops on the streets of America. But I had the former CNN producers and reporters, writers for Rolling Stone, writers for Harper's on last week. Their film, Anthrax War, that we sell at Infowars.com, they interviewed the head of South African bioweapons who sold to the U.S. and to England and to Israel race-specific bioweapons that are put in vaccines to sterilize you. This is not a game. This is not a joke. This is so important, ladies and gentlemen, to get anthrax war, to show it to friends and family. My point is, everybody we talk to that's researching finds the same thing. They're doing it. It's real. It's not just my film Endgame or Holder in the Science Czar's book or the United Nations Biological Diversity Assessment. In fact, we're going to cover the eugenics angle now and then go back to your calls with Steve Quell. Before I do that, one other sponsor that I wanted to uh, thank here, if I had the... Sponsor folder, here it is. It is the sponsors that make this show possible. And I just want to thank all of our great sponsors. I've been forgetting to plug our sponsors lately, so I'm catching up today. Please take note of the sponsors. You, you just heard Steve Quayle separately saying, get prepared, get storable foods, get ready. Well, the J. Michael Stevens Group, eFoodsDirect.com, high-quality, non-hybrid, non-GMO, triple enamel cans, recently packaged. They package it every month. One of the biggest outfits out there, great people. Now, this is who we believe in, where I've gotten my storable food, eFoodsDirect.com, free videos online, brochures, water filters, cook stoves. They've got boogie packs, getaway packs, 800-409-5633, 800-409-5633, or eFoodsDirect.com. Take action today. Give them a call at 800-409-5633 or eFoodsDirect.com. I believe in all this. I mean, you know, I'm trying to find a little piece of property, but I can't really afford anything. So we've got an East Texas ranch I can try to run to. I don't know about negative the checkpoints. Uh, you got to kind of move your family out before this happens. Um, I've got storable food. I, you know, and, and folks, I know this is real. They could be beta testing to set the precedent for forced inoculations and federal lockdowns and fear mongering for events in the future. But I've never seen such a real time buildup and a hustle to get the troops and police state and brainwashing and fear mongering in place. Going back to Steve Quayle. Steve, we have limited time here, as right. you know, my friend. One, one, uh, one, one of the things, too, I want to just really say, okay, one of the books that is absolutely important to understand what we're talking about that I wrote is called Weather Wars on Unnatural Disasters. They can get it by, you know, calling my store, 406-586-4840, 406-586-4840, because what's going to happen, Alex, we're going, they're, they're, tuning and, they're tuning in and turning up the power on all of their ionospheric heaters. That's not just HARP, okay? What happens is they can electromagnetically attenuate the virus, okay? Massive studies, people can go do their homework, I've done mine. So we're talking about something that is the combination of Ebola pox, that's Ebola and smallpox. We're talking about combinations of the Spanish flu, 1918 influenza, and we're talking about when I hear a doctor or a nurse say, but we've never seen it before, I ask them, why is that? And they, they shake their head. They don't know. My simple answer is because it has not existed before. 
The whole well, that's how you and I knew this was manufactured day one, was because it had never before been seen. The regular flu, virus, uh, flu viruses always have a lineage. This was brand new, and now we were proven right. Top virologists are saying it was made in a lab. Right, and when they knock off, uh, can I tell you something? The, the biggest story of the decade, in my opinion, uh, was the dead scientist slash the murder of Dr. David Kelly. I was on with George Norrie the night Dr. Kelly, or, you know, the day he was killed, but of the night, and I, I talked about it. And I got emails, oh, how do you know that? You can't know that. The press will pick it up before you do. Oh, yeah? Now, Alex, four years later, however many years later, now they basically have got all these inquests. And you know what's coming to? It's coming to a certain government basically killed him to keep him from warning the people of a certain government's population going to be decimated by genetically altered pathogens that are going to be released both in Britain and in the United States. Let, let me share this. There is nothing about the flu that's the issue, in my opinion. The thing that's the issue is the biologically, genetically altered viruses that have been gene spliced to produce literally the most deadly viruses. And, and when you see anything crossing species, you know that humanity is involved. God himself set boundaries for everything. These people who hate God, they break every boundary known to man and known to God. The bottom line is is that, that they have access to. That well, Steve... Steve, if we've had this history of them sterilizing people, injecting them with syphilis, Tuskegee, radiating foster kids, how would anybody trust the vaccine industry or the government hyping this and then saying the army is going to forcibly inoculate us? I mean, on its face, it's crazy. Well, not only that, but how about uh, holding all the vaccine companies that are going to make, you know, what, $20 billion hold harmless? And yet they haven't even settled the suits from 1976 totally. See, Alex, this is the thing that is, is so, they, they've gotten so bold. And by the way, you know, when I get messages from those kind of guys, they say, they'll say something like, you're wasting your breath, Quail. You can't get them. They're already too dumb to care. And I said, well, they may be too dumb to care, but I care. And that's what really makes me so furious is, is that here you have our own homegrown military guys being experimented on lab rats. Alex, the biggest upheaval in the country should have taken place when all veterans were declared terrorists. Broaden the definition of terrorism. You and I have talked about this. Boy, sweep them up in all one swell swoop. So when people hear of, you know, the systematic termination, execution, or operations against, quote, a group of veterans, you know, these are your fathers, ladies and gentlemen. These are your grandfathers. These are men who fought and died and women who fought and died and still fight and die. They're still fighting and dying without any uh, acknowledgement. Well, that's the globalists proving that they are the outside usurper terrorists, not just the $23.7 trillion they've stolen or all the looting. They're taking us over like they do third world countries. They control the central government. They create these false debts. They take over. Uh, we, but we but, but by declaring the veterans and gun owners terrorists, they prove who they are. Go ahead. Well, I think that's the thing that most people can't grasp. We are no longer what we used to be. We are absolutely a third world country. A man was in my office uh, two weeks ago, Alex, you know, plus or minus a day or two, and, and he basically had the absolute proof that the Amero is a real currency. And the thing is... is well, no, wait a minute. It's now been announced uh, by uh, the Russian president. Yep. It's now been announced worldwide. They're moving to a world currency. I have clips of Geithner saying it. Right. But see, the, uh, the Amero is basically even trading in Eastern European countries right now. In order to facilitate the Chinese to keep them happy, we had to give them 12... Yeah, the Amero is just the name of, of a SDR in our area of the world. The, the banks are now moving to world digital money. That's why they're going to bypass the world currency and go right to thumbprints and face scans. Steve, I want to go to calls.